Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prove the following trigonometric identity. Please don't forget to click on the like and the subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept. In the question given, we have your left hand side and the right hand side. We have to prove that sine 3 theta divided by sine theta minus cos 3 theta divided by cos theta equals to 2. When proving trig identity, we start from the more complex side, and in this case, that's the left hand side. So I have from our left hand side, we have sine 3 theta divided by sine theta minus cos 3 theta divided by cos theta. Because we are adding, we are subtracting fractions. We're going to start by making the denominators the same. To make the denominators the same, we need to find our lowest common denominator or our LCD. And in this case, that's sine theta cos theta. To make the denominator the same on our left hand side, I'm going to multiply by cos theta. And whatever you do at the top, you do at the bottom. So I have at the top cos theta, at the bottom sine cos theta. On the right hand side to make the LCD sine theta cos theta, I'm going to multiply that by sine theta. And likewise, whatever you do at the top, you do at the bottom. So our fraction or our expression becomes, I have cos theta. I'm going to start with sine 3 theta. So I have sine 3 theta multiplying cos theta divided by, I have sine theta cos theta minus, on the right hand side I have cos 3 theta sine theta divided by sine theta cos theta. And once the denominators are the same as shown, I can place the fraction under the same denominator, which is sine theta cos theta. And for our numerator, we have sine 3 theta cos theta minus, I'm going to extend my fraction bar, I have cos 3 theta sine theta. If we look at the numerator, as I lighted, that's a trig identity such that we have sine A minus B is equal to sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. In this case, our 3 theta will be my A and my theta will be my B. So I have sine A cos B, then because my 3 theta is my A, I'm going to write my small a and my B. So that is the same as a trig identity sine A minus B. So writing that in reverse, we have sine A minus B. A in this case is my 3 theta minus B, which is theta as shown divided by, I still have my LCD or my denominator, sine theta cos theta. 3 theta minus theta, that's 2 theta. So I have sine 2 theta as shown over sine theta cos theta. Using the second trig identity, that states that sine 2 and so we write that we have sine 2a equals 2 sine a cos a. a in this case will be our theta, so therefore applying the trig identity sine 2 theta over sine theta over cos theta becomes 2 sine theta cos theta divided by sine theta cos theta. We have sine theta cos theta 
dividing each other, and we are left with 2 divided by 1, which is 2. So therefore, we can see that our left-hand side is equal to 2, which is also equal to our right-hand side. So therefore, we've been able to prove the identity that sine 3 theta divided by sine theta minus cos 3 theta over cos theta equals to 2. Thanks for watching. Bye.